this time on, going off the menu. Whoa. I didn't see this on the menu. No. We are on a moonshine mission. Gunpowder. A little bit scared. To get our Mile High Foodie into an exclusive supper club. Is there anything you can do to get us in? But when we don't make the list, it would be Liza. You're telling me we're not on the list? Our spirits are crushed. So we jumped through all these hoops and brought this key. Ridiculous. We're taking diehard foodies on an underground adventure oh, of a lifetime. Have mercy on me. It's going off the menu. Brought to you by the RAV4 Hybrid. We're headed to the Mile High City to meet with our client, Heidi Andres. This girl was blowing up my Twitter trying to get into an elite supper club in Denver. My name's Heidi Dupre Andres. I own this fabulous used furniture store called Lush Life. I'm an adventurous spirit, love to have a good time, a total foodie. I've been in Colorado since college, and I have seen all the underground hot spots, all the hole in the walls, every dive bar. I need something new. Denver has become a culinary hot spot. As for the underground food scene, there's a real dedicated following here. Hello, hello. Heidi! Heidi! Heidi. Hi, y'all. Hey. How are you? Heidi seems like she'd be a really good girlfriend of mine. And I love that she wears these pearl earrings. I just want her to kick her heels off, put some cocktails in her, and see what happens. I want something like nothing else I've ever done in Denver. I've exhausted the food scene here. It's stale. <laughs> We've heard of a place called the Silver Spork. Have you heard of it before? The only Silver Spork I know is the one that was in my mouth when I was born. <laughs> <laughs> so the Silver Spork Social is a monthly pop-up restaurant that sells out as soon as a new event is posted online. I have a buddy, Lori, who is a, a food writer here in town. Lori's How... broken a lot of stories on really small producers, new restaurants popping up. So I have a feeling she'll be a really great lead for us. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I got a text. Yes. Lori says, meet me at Panda One. Where is it? Panda One's on South Broadway. We're on South Broadway. It's right. And you've I mean, never heard of it. Right? right? <laughs> you've never, ever heard of this place? No. Let's run over there and see what she's got for us, and then we'll just take the adventure. Yeah, All right, let's go. come on, guys, let's go. Let's go. Whoa, check this place out. It's so tiny. It's like in a little mini mall. Oh, for goodness sakes. Guys, are you serious? These places never impress me, especially in New York. These are a dime a dozen. They're everywhere. It's just like the normal, typical American Chinese food. Nothing special. Oh, there she is. Oh, this hey. is Lori. Hey, hey. Uh, How are you? Oh. So I'm really fortunate that I've gotten an opportunity to get to know Lori over a handful of years. She's a really, really intelligent writer. She knows the food scene here in Denver. The last time we talked, you said that you were really interested in the Big. silver spork, silver spork, right? Right. I have a connection. He's a bartender. OK. His name is Stuart. Mm, I like that uh, name. His name is Stuart. Is he single? <laughs> you know, I'm not familiar with his personal life. All I know is that he makes completely kick-ass drinks. He bartends for these specific events. So there's an egg. Whoa, what is that? That's, I didn't see this on the menu. No, I played a, a trick on my friend <laughs> Russell over here. They have this amazing chef. And behind the $1.25 wow. scoop menu are the super secret Shanghai style menus. More? Oh, more, 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 more. Meets heaven. Oh, if you walk in here and you don't know that that menu exists, wow. you'll never get this food. Yeah. Oh. oh. That's amazing. Yin -yang. You know, you realize that, like, you go to a lot of places, and especially as Americans walk in, they don't think that you'd like this cuisine, so they don't offer it to you. You have to ask and almost sometimes beg them and to serve it to you. you do have to buy. Yeah. No way. More? What? Oh, my God. Oh, I think yeah. I know what it is, and it's gonna piss a few people off, but that's okay, because there's gluten in there. Oh, <laughs> it's it's gluten. So. And I love how on the secret Ooh. menus, they're not afraid of the bone. Yeah. You know? No. Just throw the bones right in there and work your way around them. Oh! oh. It's like the most yeah. delicious fruit salad. It's like this beautiful Fabergé egg with fresh fruit and ice on the inside. Hey, so you've partner. wowed us with your menu. Tell us more about this bartender that you know. Oh, oh bartender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We can I, I have a one-track mind. 
All we needed was a little schmoozing, a free meal on us, and we got the digits. I hope he's awake. Hey, Stuart, my name's Liza, and got your name actually off a friend of yours. My friend Russell and I are trying to get to a secret supper club called the Silver Sport. Do you know anything about it? Is there anything you can do to get us in? What is it? Bring it. We'll do anything. He just said gunpowder whiskey. So you're telling me that what? he has created a special cocktail for this dinner. Right. And he's been searching high and low all over Denver for gunpowder whiskey. If we find and access this for you, you'll let us in? Three of us? Thank you so much, Stuart. And uh, we, we won't fail you. Oh Amazing. My God. Are Do you, you know joking? what this stuff is? No, I don't. This is a historical whiskey. All I'm coming up with is stuff from New England. We need a local one then, now. Is there? Uh, I, a, a liquor store? I, I you know. know. I don't know. What do you mean you know? I, I know somebody who. I know somebody who could get us. You know yeah, someone? What are you talking about? Have a seat, really? Do <laughs> you know someone that makes gunpowder whiskey? Uh, I have a friend who will have to keep anonymous. Okay. who uh, has a still, and he makes gunpowder whiskey You're out sure. of that still. You're sure? No. Gunpowder uh, whiskey. Yeah. Yes. Nice. Where have I'm you taken us? Perfect. Something weird's happening, and I like it. It's Mike. Yeah, OK, cool. Mike Excited? Are you ready for this? Yeah. yeah. How you doing, buddy? We gotta hurry up and shut the door. Don't want the neighbors yeah. seeing. <laughs> the door slowly rolls, and it's the most simple, chummy guy. The guy you would like to have as your neighbor. All right, guys. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. Holy cow. So here's the setup. <laughs> Holy cow. Wow, I've not seen anything like this. This is a, what we call a column still. We boil our wash. It's gonna come up and hit these copper plates, turn into a vapor, come down here, condense into white lightning, moonshine. I got really excited when I saw that still because I grew up on moonshine and whiskey homemade. We're trying to get Heidi into this super secret supper club and Stuart requested your gunpowder whiskey. Why is this so special? So pre-prohibition, 1800s era, they couldn't tell the proof of the whiskey. So anything over 100 proof would ignite gunpowder. Right. And oh, so what yeah. they would do to tell the proof is they would make a tea with gunpowder and tobacco and even some red peppers. If you brought the gunpowder whiskey and it would ignite, they would buy it from you. If it wouldn't, you'd probably be starting a fight back in the Wild West. Are you the drink. only guy making this? In Denver? The only guy you're going to find in the Rocky Mountains. That's Whoa, for sure. Yeah. Just have some crushed pepper here. What Make, it yes, Make it spicy. Make it spicy. Make it spicy. It's a cut tobacco. Boiling water. So I let it steep for about five to 10 minutes. Filter it out. Todd's listing the ingredients off. What I always do is kind of try to figure out the taste notes in my brain. We're going to add our rye whiskey. The rye is going to give it a little bit more spice and flavor. And I'm going to top it off with our moonshine. We want to be careful. This is 100 proof. And you're going to smell that acetone nail polish because <laughs> it's so strong. But it's really, really smooth. If you want to have a taste, you can feel free to. Yeah. Mm. You didn't flinch. Tastes like home. And then, of course, the ingredient that we've all been waiting for. Gunpowder. Gun I will say I'm a little bit scared. So I'm just going to do a half teaspoon. Wow. Okay. Now it's time to yeah. try it. Yes, please. Holy it cow. looks almost green. Yeah, green, green, gray. I'm not going to drink. I am the designated driver. Smooth. It's really smooth. It's velvety on the tongue. Hopefully you can trade it to get into your party today. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of a kind, and it's like being in the possession of magic. Cross your fingers. Yeah. Stuart, hi. It's uh, Liza. I called you earlier this morning. So I have some good news for you. We've actually found it. Can we get access? Yeah. yeah. Did you say the tattered, the tattered, cover tattered cover bookstore? bookstore. Yeah, oh, I know you what know that where is. that is? Great. Yes. Great. We're going to meet you there with our gunpowder whiskey. All right. Thank you. We'll be there soon. Lead okay. the way, my dear. Let's go. Awesome. 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 Yeah. I'm not sure where Stewart is. Yeah. Stewart. Do you know a guy named Stewart? Do you know a person named Stewart? 
So big tall Paul walks in and he looks like a character out of an Alice in Wonderland storybook. So we realize we're in the right place. This guy obviously knows Stuart and hopefully Stuart put us on the list. If you guys could all sign in over here with Aaron, the guy in the uh, Aaron, Western hat. Aaron, the guy with the Western hat. Hi, we are here last minute. This should be Liza and silence, just silence. So I kind of panic, look over at Russell, and we don't know what to do. Talk to Paul and we'll see what happens. OK. You're telling me we're not on the list? Hey, Paul, can we ask you a question? We're not, we're not on the list. So we jumped through all these hoops so and brought this key. The secret the, elixir the for Stuart. I just want to look at it and make sure. It's the real deal. Looks Stay. pretty good. Looks yeah. scary. Looks dangerous. All Looks right. perfect. It was. I know for a fact. <laughs> yeah. Cool, guys. All right. Okay, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. Oh. Team. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> all righty, guys. Right, follow me. Uh, we're going to go straight over to the actual location since we're not eating at the tattered cupboard. Wow, look at this. One step closer. All of a sudden, you hear a little music, you turn a corner, and here we are. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Beautiful tablescape, great lighting, good music, just a good buzz in the room. This feels like supper clubs in New York, which isn't surprising since Paul just moved back from there. He's all about bringing Colorado's best chefs and mixologists together under one roof. Nice meeting you. He's like, I know exactly what to do with this. You guys just wait and see. This is uh, certainly a, a cocktail that highlights the uh, the whiskey. It's more of an old-fashioned style cocktail. Ugh, it's so damn cute. Stuart made a beautiful pumpkin cider cocktail that he served out of these adorable mini pumpkins. It was all the flavors of fall in a sip. Who does that? I really like the Radigio in there. There's a real nice, light quality to it. I love pumpkin. I like the pepitas in there. I just wanted to go ahead and, uh, again, thank uh, Heidi for bringing the uh, whiskey down to make this all possible. Oh, I feel like I live in a different city. I have so much more I want to explore. You don't know what it took to get this, by this the way. This is the best thing ever. I think we pulled off a definite solid A. And I just felt like I had some secret about Denver that no one else knows and everyone wants to know, and I'm going to keep that tight. It's a breadsicle. Oh, my God. I love this place. Are you kidding? <laughs> Oh, yeah.